Hello everybody and welcome on once again to Mechanism 110. Today I'm going to do some more automation on the tree farm. At the end of the last episode I did it and it was working just perfectly. But since then I've removed it all. And the reason I've removed it all is I'm not doing it in the Mechanism way. Mechanism has got some really cool features. And one of the cool features is sorting. So as you can see what I've done here is basically remove everything. And I've got some dark bits, so I just put a torch down the back to make sure that everything's okay. And I also want to remove this block here for later on. Okay, good. Now, what I've done is I've left the, the energy conduit. That's important. I'm going to come here and I'm going to remove this one out of here. I don't want the access to being produced at the moment. I've also got on me all of the bins that I had from before. Let's just move these down. I would like to put down the wood first of all. What have we got in here? Well, oak wood, fine. And I'm going to put those at the backs for the time being. And that is um, something else which I'm going to put down over here. The biofuel. This looks like a jungle sapling, so I'm going to move that to one territory there spruce saplings here, oak saplings here, birch saplings here, what have we got that spruce wood I think, oh it's jungle wood, I'm going to move this, I'm going to just move that, let me just have a look at this, I'm in wrench mode which is what I want, so I'll just right click, where did that disappear to, oh, right over there, wow, Okay, that was, um, so what have we got here? This must be spruce. Yes, it is. And I've got oak wood. No, I've got jungle wood. And I've got birch wood. Now, I've got apples. I'm going to put the apples somewhere else. I'm going to put them, say, down here, I think, for the time being, anyway. Now, what I've done is I've removed everything. So here I've got... Dark green as the input for axes and dark blue as the output from all of these wood choppers. I've got one more item in here, I don't really need that there. I'm sure well standing there. And I'm going to get some more of that too. Now in here I've got this, the logistical sorter. And the recipe for the logistical that's all yep, yeah, is one piston, one basic control circuit and seven iron not really very comp not very expensive but very useful and i'm going to automate the whole of this farm with this just this one logical sorter i'm going to take an empty bin because i need that i've got two just one will be fine what have i just done weird right but i do need a little bit more energy conduit and um we'll take some basic logistical transport. I've got plenty of that now. Let's put that over there. So we've got stacks of that. I'm not going to need anywhere near as much as that. And I want some stone because I'm going to have to fill in holes afterwards. And I'm a bit fussy as to where things go. I don't need my... I don't need... Yes, I want those like, like that just in case. And that'll be almost enough. But I do want these energy upgrades. Without the energy upgrades, it doesn't have enough energy capacity to, to run everything. And instead of using the uh, the bio generator, I'm going to use the fuel generator, uh, the heat generator, for doing this stuff. Is that everything that I want for the time being? Oh, yes, I think it is. So, right, without further ado, let's get on with this. So what I'm going to do, I do actually need something else. I need two chests. What have I got on me? One chest. Let's just make another chest quickly. Two pieces of wood in there. That's in two logs. Gives me eight planks, which gives me one chest. And I'm going to put down the chest, first of all. I'm going to put it down here. So what we've got is this coming out of here, and I want reasonably underneath it this chest. In fact, there's no reason it can go, go here. It's not a big fussy thing to do. Exactly where it goes, it doesn't really matter. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this out of here and I'm going to do it from this side. It's important, or it seemed to be important. 
when I was setting it up and testing. I want to have it on the input, coming out of the input. It does connect to that, so everything comes through here. And I want to bring this down to this chest here. Now what's important here is I colour code this. And unfortunately at the moment I think, oh that'll be okay actually, it'll be fine. We can do that now. Put that down here. Um, interesting. And maybe I don't want to do it exactly that. Let's just move this chest out of the way. And move this pipe out of the way. I've done the right mode. Good. And I'll bring it down here. Like that. And then put the chest underneath this. Like that. Now I'm going to colour the code this. It's very important. And I need to do it at the beginning. Now, if you remember rightly, all of the outputs are dark blue. So I'm going to take this now and I'm going to change the mode of this to be configure items, which I just had. Missed it first time, right? And I want this to be dark blue. I have to shift right click. So now it's dark blue. So that means only dark blue items will end up in this chest. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the logical sorter on here. Is it pre configured for something else? But doesn't matter very much. We're going to just quickly delete these filters. They were, I was trying to generate Paxels automatically. And then I'm going to take the output of this here and I'm going to set it going around. Now, first of all, we need to connect everything up. So let's just do that first of all, like this. I want everything to connect it across like this. So it just works. I don't need to connect all four sides. As you will see, because it can route things around. Now, what I'm concentrating on here is to make sure that I have this correctly configured. Because if you don't, things start to go wrong. Like that. And the power is going across here, so I don't need to connect things across here, you see. Now, as soon as I do that, you'll see that the items are coming into this chest from the f wood farms. So we've got some birch saplings, some birch wood, and some jungle saplings and some jungle wood. The others aren't coming out because they've got no more power for the farms. So here's the farm here. It's got no power on the RF. So it's, it's got an axe, but it can't chop anything up. Now the axe I'm going to deal with as well. At the moment I've colour coded all of these green. It doesn't matter now. But I'm going to put a chest on the end of this one here like this. If I can get to it. And that's going to put an axe into there. Which is great. Also I'm going to fill this up with dirt. I don't need all the dirt do we? So what's going to happen here. Is I'm going to take the axe out. In fact I'm going to put the axe just here. I'm going to fill it up with dirt. And then I'm going to take an output from here, like this, if I can get it on. And in fact, we can go, yes, I can go this way, like that. And then it connects to this. So all of the pipes are now connected, but it's very important to color code this to being dark green. Because that is the color of the axis coming in here, like that. And as soon as I do this, what will happen is that one piece of dirt will come out and it'll go back in again because it's got nowhere to go. So if I right click this here now, it didn't actually move a filling out, which is great. Normally just send that one piece of dirt. Uh, so that's then colored coded here. Let's just right click that and double check it. Dark green. Oops. And dark green here. So that's matching up those two. Now the next thing we're going to do is I would like to replace the power configurations on this. Instead of using, um, I'm going to leave that for the time being. Instead of using um, biofuel, I'm going to use some of that, but I'm also going to use uh, an, an electric smelter and a heat generator as most of the power, because I want mostly to get biofuel out of this farm. And it will generate charcoal eventually. So here I've got a energized smelter. And I've got to put out of the energized smelter. It 
cannot send items out of the SNS. That's, that's right. So it needs a power cable down the bottom to power it up. So I'll put the energy smelter on top of that. That's the reason I did that like that. And then I'm going to put a bin. Have I got one with me? Yes, I have prepared it like this. And I'm going to put the bin beside this energized smelter. Uh, yep, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put into here, out of the top of it, into here. So everything that gets smelted will go into the top of the bin. That's the way bins work. You can't do it any other way. And then I'm going to take the output of the bin here and feed that into the heat generator. And when I put the heat generator down, I want the power to come out the back. So I have to be the side that's facing like this. I'll put that down like that. So now we have enough connectors. So we should get wood coming in. We haven't got that yet. We will do that. Now, I'm not going to, to connect everything up yet because, well, in fact, I can connect these up, I think. No, I won't connect everything up just yet. I need to remove this piece of... Um, cobble here a stone here because I want it to power to come through here as well so we need the power to come around here like this well at least I wanted to do that and then come up so then the generator will put power down here and I'll put it up again and then it will connect to everything so that works out quite nicely now there's one more thing I need to configure and that is the output from the bin you have to make sure that the bin is set to the pull mode like that. So strange, I would have thought that would be push, but it says pull. So that should be everything configured. Now we need to configure these sides here. So that's dark blue, that's the output. And that's dark red, that's the input. So what we can now do is we can connect to the sorter stuff. So let's connect one pipe to the sorter first of all. And then go and configure the sorter. So at the moment, it's got no filters in there at all. Here we've got an apple, let's take one apple out of here and let's put it into this filter here, this apple. So what we're going to do is get a new filter from an item stack. So we're going to put the stack, an apple into here. And then we're going to give it a colour. Now, dark blue and dark green are already in use, so we don't want to use that. We'll save this and uh, aqua. So this is now, apples will come out of here, coloured dark aqua. Now I'm going to create another filter and this time I'm going to have wood. Now wood has an ore dictionary of log wood. So we get a new filter and we do an ore dictionary item of log wood. And I'm going to give this another color. So these three are new, so we'll do it dark red and save that. And the same is a GUI bug here by the looks of it. It doesn't actually display the different log woods. The um, digital miner does, but this one doesn't. So the next one, we're going to do another one. In fact, I need to find out what I want first of all. I want saplings. And those are called tree sapling. So another old dictionary name. And I'm going to give this the next colour along. So we've done dark red and purple and save that. So those are the three items that can come into this chest. There's no other items can because it's all dark blue, colour coded. And the only way we get dark blue is from the output of the choppers at the moment, anyway. So now we can connect this bin here to this. So let's connect the bin up, first of all. And we want to colour code this pipe here to being purple. So I think I'm in the right mode. Not it bounces away. So we want this to be purple. And then we can simply connect this up to here at the top, probably the best place. Let's put it down. It's an outer. You can walk underneath it and it's out of the way. Like that. Now nothing will happen until an apple gets fed in. So now what we can do is we can then connect to this. This one wants to go up as well. And then an apple should be pulled out of this chest. There aren't any in at the moment. And then put into this thing. So the next thing we want is here. This energized smelter. So we've got items being sent out to the top and coming in at the side. That's great. But we also want to transport the colours. Now, let's go back here again. I come back to the sorter and double check what we colour we gave this one. 
So it's dark red is logwood. So I want to have in here dark red. And it wants to be on the side of the input. The output color doesn't matter because it's going to go straight into this bin, which is at the top. And we could color code it, but it doesn't really make any difference because there's nothing touching it to keep it away. And that's basically it for that particular thing. So we now just connect that up and we'll connect it straight up from here like this, I think. Because I don't want it to connect to this, so I'll just put it down here and then up. And then as soon as it did that, one piece of wood has come out of there, colored dark red, and coming into here. It's got power in the smelter, actually six pieces, so it will actually start to generate some uh, charcoal. Charcoal will get fed into this. I have upgraded this machine, haven't I? No. Very important. Upgrade the machine. Without it, it doesn't. It uses too much power for the charcoal, and charcoal doesn't work. So you have to upgrade it first. I haven't bothered to speed because that also uses more power. And now I'm getting power in. Very little, but probably enough to carry on for the time being. And this is getting a little bit of extra power over time. As you can see, it's slowly going up. But it's going to take quite a long time for it to do that. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. This time I'm going to use the, exactly the same principle for the saplings to make biofuel. And what we want to do is we want to give an extra space down here and we want to put in, first of all, I want to have an energy conduit in order to power the crusher. The crusher I've got here. I'm going to put this down on top of here like this. And I'm going to make sure I put the energy upgrades in there first of all. Like that. And so we need items coming in here. Now, I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time. I'm going to bring items on the side here. So when I click that, it looks like it's connecting to that. But it doesn't. It will connect to this. So if I simply then come along, I remove this out of the way. We might need the the energy tablet later on. So at the moment, I've got the top is configured for output. That's fine, and the middle, the front, was actually configured for input. Let's just shift left click that to clear it, and then shift right click this to configure this as an input. Now it's connecting. So what we now need to do is the same thing as we did last time. We put some pipe onto here. Nope, wrong step. We need this one. Now. I need to reconfigure this. So it was purple was the input for saplings. So let's just put that in here like that and then up there. And then saplings should start to come out of there. I've got the color code right. Let's double check that again. Because at the moment just log woods coming out of there. It might take a few seconds. Sorry, there we go. Saplings are. Of course. It's already got some saplings in, hasn't it? It's going oak saplings. And it's full. So nothing can actually come in here until we start to do something with that. So we're going to do the same thing as before. You see that actually did go across to into that into there. Let me just make sure it doesn't like that. Shift right clicking on that to make sure it's no input. Actually that looks better. Now that's going to get stuck. It does power from just take items from the side, that's good. It didn't before, anyway. So beside this we're gonna put this bin here. Now at the moment I've got it on the wrong mode, I think. We need to go back to wrench and shift right click that one. And put these oops this this new version is a bit of a pain for jumping up automatic. There might be a way to turn it off. So I'm gonna put that on there and then I'm going to put on here the two pipes like that. And then, this, and then these come round into here. And now I'm going to take the generator out of here. And in fact, what I need to do is to configure this here to being an output into this hole here. So I need to put a pipe down here, like that. And then configure this to being an out. Oops, yes, I've still got the wrong mode. So let's go back to the right mode. Try again. like that. So then these will come out of here. So we need to come out underneath it, don't we? So 
Oops. It's this. My thing is will. It's really so quite, quite well powerful. So let's just put that down and fill this in now. Don't need that hole anymore. I don't think I need any of these. Oops. Totally don't want that one. And I'm going to put down here um, some energy conduit. No. Oh. Don't need any energy conduit to come down here, do I? Because it's going to go up the back and go into here. So what we'll do is we'll just put down a piece of stone down here, I think it's and then put into that from this direction, of course, because I want the output to be at the back, the bio generator. And then I can simply take power out of the bio generator at the back. And then that will start to feed everything through. So this should now be getting when it goes down a bit, it should get in it. I've done that wrong. Oh yes, I have, haven't I? I haven't put the, um, I haven't put the, the connector. Did I? Oh, that's a bit daft, number one. Right. Okay. Good. So we need to put the power down like that, and then this needs to be. Configured actually should be working straight away. I don't need to configure it. There's nothing to configure on this anyway. So now you've got your 64 biofuel, that's great. So it's now maintaining power and the power is then going through the system. And what I'm hoping for is that we have enough power from these for these for this to increase in its number and also for to get some charcoal generated. It's a lot, it's rather a lot for such a few items, but there we are. Now let's double check this. The next item, and here's the axes. Yes, it's difficult to get this sometimes. I've tried this face here. So the moment we've got no axes, let's make an axe. Put that into there. It's got it's got plenty of power on it. It's going down. It's creating an axe. The axe will then go into this chest when there's space. And there won't be any space until one of these ones disappears. Let's have a look. That one's fine, chopping away. This one's dropping away nicely. Let's go and have a look outside. And we have a look at what's going on here. And as you can see, things are getting chopped down as they grow. In fact, the, the jungle saplings probably just need an, a little bit more range because it's not big enough for the, for the huge jungle trees like this to be generated. And it needs to be, I think it needs to be on this side here. In fact, I'm probably going to just remove that torch. <laughs> one jet, one sapling too few. Let's double check this. We should see stuff chopping away. Let's check it. So it's actually just gaining enough power here now, slowly. Slowly filling up. So this will take a, it takes a lot of surprising how much power it does need. It's a lot more than I first thought. I thought it would work quite happily with the stuff on here. Chopping range. One thing you do have to worry about is making sure that you actually have enough to chop everything down. And you see it's really working quite hard at the moment because I hadn't chopped it up for a long time. So that's why this extra power is the important thing. Well, basically that's it. I think everything's working fine. We'll have to leave it for a few seconds and see what goes on. Now, I haven't quite finished this episode yet because there's one more thing I want to show you and that is a personal chest. The personal chest on the mechanism is really cool. It's very much like the golden bag of holding. It's this recipe here. One basic control circuit, one glass, five steel and two chests. And I haven't got the chests. I've got the wood for the chests, I think. So let's make two chests. Like that. And then we can create the item, put it into my inventory. Now, this acts just like a normal chest. You can put it down, open it, put items into it. Like that. But also, and it's the same mechanism, so I'm pressing Control Shift, and it moves stuff out. 
And in fact, you can actually sort it, but unfortunately, this is sitting on top of the on top of the JEI, so I can turn off JE with Control and um, O, and so you move things around a bit, and then sort. It doesn't sort the same way as a normal chest, but it does put everything into into stacks, which is as important as anything else. Now, also with this, let me just check. I want to change this now to a uh, wrench mode, of course. So I want to move it. And when you move this chest, like anything else, it doesn't actually hold drop the items. So you still got the items out. But what's also nice, if I'm not out of range of touching anything, I can shift right click it and open it as a golden bag of holding, for example. Which is also rather nice. You can put other items in it, close it off again, and you still got it in your hand. Which is really good. So you can see things are working really crazily at the moment. I'm just waiting to see. We've got 152 apples. We should have some more apples checking out in here. Those apples should be sent out at some stage. I don't know what this colour could. Let me double check this. This should be set for wrench. Let's check that for items. That's set for purple. Oops. And... Oh! Apples is dark aqua. That should be dark aqua, sorry, I'll have to reconfigure this. Indigo. Dark aqua. And there we go, so apples. Now, did I do. Oops, I keep. This is what drives me crazy actually, jumping on things. Did we. Let's uh, have a look at this. I've got this wrong as well, haven't I? What colour? This one should have been. I'll double check my double check my sorting. This is purple. That sap looks good. Let me just check the configuration on here. It is purple? Which it is. So the sap thing should be coming through here. Oh, it's gone quiet all of a sudden. So we've got 21 saplings in here. We've got plenty of wood coming in here. I think that's just one of those. Nice little features. I've got no power in there at the moment. And this has turned itself around, but it's actually working. It's producing 700 joules per tick. And in fact, you can reconfigure this as well. If you change, come here, you can actually see that's eight, 280 RF per tick, 70 EU per tick, 280 T per tick, I'm not sure what that one is, but RF's the one I tend to think of in terms of. So it's producing 280 RF per tick and it's filling up. Right. So that looks good. And this chest has dropped whatever it was having on it with shackles. Uh, but never mind, it's working just fine and these are all showing nothing, which is nonsense as well. In fact, it's fairly easy to fill these in. I just have to move them around a bit and reduce some cable and just put them under the, the items here. Then they will get extra items and get put into there. But for the time being, we don't have any extra. This chest is looking reasonably. Sort that out. It's got some items in here, not too many. If we're not happy about the speed, we can go and upgrade these machines. So, for example, here I've got some factory upgrades, so I can convert this to a factory, and here I've got some speed upgrade. So if I want the, the charcoal to be produced faster, I shall first of all take the factory upgrade on it and right-click it, like that. Now it's a factory, and I click Sort On, and I don't think, I think all the configuration has remained as it was. Now we're starting to get a lot more wood into here, and it should be starting to process a bit faster. Not happy with it. Put some speed grade and upgrades in there. Eight again is the maximum. As you'll see, it says four of eight, five of eight, and the energy is the same, eight of eight. So now we're actually seeing a little bit of charcoal coming into here. So it's actually going fast enough, and this is actually filling up with lava. Of course you can do the same thing on this machine. 
come over here. Uh, speed upgrade and factory upgrade. We can simply right click the factory upgrade on here. Come along, put the speed upgrades into the upgrade slot. And sure enough, you should see different saplings that are coming into this. We're actually getting oak saplings, so now we've got jungle saplings and birch saplings. And it's going a lot faster, but the power's dropping down a bit. But that doesn't matter. Once the batch of saplings has been processed, everything will be maintained. They now run out of power. This, on the other hand, is full of fuel and it's producing 280 hours per tick. And this one is producing. That's a production of this one. Let's show you, does it? Yeah. 120, and it's creating 29, but it's filling it with charcoal. And this is also starting to fill it with charcoal. So hopefully, over a period of time, everything's working just fine. And that's almost the end of the episode. And of course, now we see the farms are all sort of chopped down. We should have some axes in here. Let's double check that. There's plenty of axes. That looks like that one's been replaced. And this one too. Let's go down, double check the axe axes in here. If I can never get into this thing. I suppose the easiest way to do this is to look at this hopper on the side of this. So I've now got uh, 56. Wait a few minutes, that should be reduced. So we've still got the one axe in here and the one axe in here. Which is great, absolutely as I want it to work. Because if I get an excess of axes and I can just simply put them in there, and then they will be taken out before the other ones are used. The only trouble, of course, is the you then have to fill it up with dirt when it's working to make sure you only get one axe. But you have a bit of flexibility. And the very last thing I want to show you is the new base. There's a tree over there, so I'm going to pick up that sapling be quick because you never know one of those trees might just happen to, to mature as we get past it I promised to do plastics and the reason I haven't done plastics is I'm not quite ready I've built a new compound and that's over here let's have a quick look at the compound and the next episode I'm going to explain this contraption here compound I what I did here is there was a this is Desert Hills. Or it says desert at the moment, but it's actually also Desert Hills. And there was a big hill here. And at the top of the hill I put um, a digital miner and told it to mine sand and sandstone. So it basically mined everything down to this level, which is level 70. And I told it to block do a block of 32, and after that I've just basically tarted it up a bit. So I put some doors in here, some ladders to get to this bit here and the reason I've done this if you look over here is a little bit of an overhang using some reverse steps it's the spiders can't jump up if they want to you can't get up here now and I have seen a spider jump climb a climb a wall when it was building the uh, when it was mining the, this hill away and it could climb up everywhere it was amazing right up about 10 blocks or something the spider climbed up so you're going to be careful with it and here I've just basically made this sort of walkway around the top. If I want to go and do have a bit of entertainment, shoot a few mobs as I'm get a bit bored. Maybe we can see one or two over here today. There's one over there. That's a witch. It might be possible to reach the witch from here. Let's have a look. Nice thing with flame is we can actually see if I'm where it's dropping just a bit too short. Just a bit to the right. And that was didn't fully back far enough. There you go, one dead witch. And you can walk around here and survey the scene. And I did a lot of um, landscaping here as well to make sure that everything was clean and reasonably flat. And made sure that any hills where people couldn't jump into the compound from the side. So I cleaned it all up a bit. Next time. I am definitely going to do plastics. You'll see here I've got some chests. Uh, these are personal chests again, of course. 
Uh, this one's just got sandstone in it, some ladders and some doors. This one's got some, uh, the digital miner. That's got a bed. Actually, I probably should put the bed down somewhere. Oops, pick it up first. Let's put it down, say, here. Just below the window. Let's put it just below the window there. And we can go to sleep. So, until next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye for now.